Okay, LG V10, awesome slow motion. Nothing new for smartphones, nothing new for, for cool video, slow motion, but the LG V10 does a pretty good job at it. Uh, now it'll only shoot, as far as I can figure out, it'll only shoot 120 frames per second, and it'll do that in HD, but that's at 720p. So I had to upscale this video 150%. Auto, mode, slow-mo. That's the easy way. Now if you want manual control of everything, you're going to do it a different way. Go into manual, hit the little gear box there, and that's going to pull up this menu. Now you'll see 120 frames per second there. Of course you're going to want that, but it will only do it in HD. Uh, you can't choose the FHD or the Ultra HD. So 120 frames per second, that's where you go. So I slowed it down manually, and I'm going to show you how to do that at the end of the video uh, using my Adobe Premiere Pro software to get it to where I wanted it, to where it looked right to me. I didn't use any specific uh, formulas to do it. You can do it in camera, uh, in the on the phone itself, but I slowed it down manually. Now there's 50% speed right there. There's 25% speed, and here's coming it's 12% speed. Which I think is really good. By the way, that dog really hates that quadcopter. So here next, I'm going to show you how to how to get these effects and get it the way you want it. There's a couple different ways to get it. Um, I do another video, but this is the way. Now you can see here the frames per second. For some reason, it's odd numbered. Uh, some of them are 118, 19. I don't know. So you pick the video you want. You find the section of it that you want to slow down. I uh, want him barking at the copter. He, he's doing that pretty aggressively thought that'd be a good part. He's a great dog, but he just, he doesn't like that copter. He doesn't tear it up, but he wants to tell it who's boss. So I select the part of the video that I want. I drag it down here. I go up here to the, the rate tool. First of all, you see how it's smaller than the 1080p. Uh, later on, I go and upscale it to 150%. But So I found the section that I wanted. I put it where I want it. I want to get the rate stretch tool. Hover over to you find the rate stretch tool. Go there and click it, and you drag it, and get it about where you want it, and you watch it a few times, and if that's what you like, then great. If that's not, come back and watch it and, and do it again. So that's how I did it. I've got another video uh, that shows a different way to do it uh, with a time remapping where you can speed it up and slow it down to ease it into the transition. You might like that way better. I'll put a link to that video on this video also. Thank you for watching.